for this new media. My name is Halal Ernie, and today we are going over January the, uh, the 18th, 2023's new comic book day haul. I had it right in front of me. I don't know why I looked. I think it's even marked wrong on my uh, thing here, but uh, I'm live here, so we're just going to go ahead and get started. I'll change the, the titles later. We don't have to worry about titles, right, guys? Anyways, uh, I'm going to try to get through this fast because I have things to do. And, um, yeah, I wanted to get this out there because I'm checking out my YouTube channel and it's making me a little sad here because, let me show you, let me show you this. So you got, I got 155 subs right there, right? And the other day I had 158. I lost three subs, and I have no idea why, and it's, it's been a bummer. See, I had 158 January 18th, and then 14th, 156, 155, and it's been at a steady 155 cents. So if you want to put a smile on my face, please subscribe. That would be mean the world to me. And uh, yeah, I, I definitely want to get back in you guys' graces, so hopefully this video will do just that. Um, We'll, we are going to be starting on the, this top row here. I know my face is moved because I've been playing Elden Ring and it looks better that way if I have my face in this area. So, uh, sorry about that. But this one is Nightwing, <clears throat> excuse me, Nightwing 100 and it's a, a $6.99 by DC Comics. Um, I'm going to skip it even though it's a hundredth itch issue. I'm pretty sure that would be good. For Nightwing fans, uh, a lot of DC fans, but myself personally, I am going to skip it. Give me a second here. Uh, my music's way too loud. I say it's way too loud. It's already on the lowest setting. All right. Next up, we have the Flash issue number seven hundred and ninety-one. Issue 791. It is $3.99. I'm going to skip it. I do not like the way it went, the story that they've done with Flash lately, and I don't know. It's just. The Flash was never really one of my favorite comic book heroes to begin with. So. I'm not going to go and spend money on a comic book hero that I'm not really all too fond of anyways uh, but if you're a flash one you know the story might be uh, interesting you it's miss murder and mayhem uh, next up is the world's finest by uh, Batman and Superman so the world's finest um, issue number 11 I haven't heard really much on that uh, but I'm going to skip it because I am not anywhere near uh, that interested in that and much Batman. There's a few one of them that I like, but this this one isn't it. Now I am gonna get issue number 15 of Venom. This arc has been pretty crazy. I don't like the fact that it's getting tied in with the whole dark web thing going on, but uh, Marvel's gonna do the Spider Verse anyways, um, at the behest of many fans. Next up is the Hulk, issue number 11. I'm going to skip it. I'm going to skip basically this whole top row except for Venom. Um, the Punisher, number 9, might be uh, something that I might recommend, but everything else minus... Uh, Punisher and Venom are basically the only ones I recommend on that row. Uh, next up is um, Deadpool, issue number 3. Uh, I'm going to recommend that one if you're a Deadpool fan. That one might actually have a little bit of interest, but uh, for me personally... I'm going to skip it. Uh, issue number one of DC Comics Batman, Batman uh, One Bad Day, Bane, issue number one. Uh, Bat, Bad, and Bane. Kind of a, a little bit of tongue twister if, uh, if you think about it. What? Destroyed by Venom. Excuse me. A past, present, and future destroyed by Venom. Bane broke the bat. He's... Bane broke the bat. He's one of the only villains to ever truly vanquish the Dark Knight. But it's... 
Is that all he's ever accomplished? Decades from now, Bane is washed up, wrestler reliving glory days in the ring, defeating someone dressed like Batman every day, but when he discovers that there's a new source of venom in the world, he'll do anything to shut down the facility. Uh, it's coming from for good and make sure that no one takes the poison that ruined his life. An epic saga set through Bane's life according to the hopes and dreams of Red So it's by Joseph Williamson. I haven't heard much of him. There is hype for this, so I think uh, I'm gonna go ahead and recommend this one. I'm going to skip it personally because it's $7.99 and I am broke as hell this week. Um, 8 out of the 10 people liked it too, so the average rating is is, is hit or miss. Uh, I don't like the whole washed up uh, wrestler aspect. I, I think that's a very lazy and um, silly writing. Um, but... I don't know. It, it it might if if I budget it correctly, this might be something worth worth it. I'll I'll make it a pull, but I, I won't pull the whole series for sure. Next up is House of Slaughter issue number eleven. I can't recommend enough, and I do highly want this and highly suggest you read this and catch up with the House of Slaughter. They do have trade paperbacks out. Next up is Bat Girls, issue number 14. I'm going to skip that one. Um, they've done Bat Girl Dirty, and I, I just. I'm, I'm, I have no interest in Bat Girl right now. Uh, next up is Dark Web X Men. I'm going to skip that one as well, uh, issue number 3. Um, but let me know, though, if, uh, if the X Men uh, series is, is actually kind of good now or not. Please let me know in the comments if you've read it. Uh, next up is IDW Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the uh, issue number 136. I'm gonna skip it. Same with Star Wars Bounty Hunter by Marvel, issue number 30. But another one, but one by I am getting by Marvel is this Deadly Neighborhood Spider-Man. I really liked the the aspect of the story and how it taps into the darkness of him. And there's the Demon Bear, which is a cool uh, antagonist. And yeah, I, I recommend this one for for people who like Spider-Man but don't like the new direction Marvel is going currently. This one will be a nice little refresher. And, you know, besides getting just a Venom comic. Next up is Avengers Forever, issue number 13. I'm going to skip it. Uh, same with the Invincible Iron Man. Um... I don't really like Invincible series too much. I, I, I get them when it's Red Sonja, but that's just because it's my favorite character uh, from the Dynamite Entertainment uh, ser uh, publisher. But if you're a fan of Iron Man, then this might be for you, but it's got Ironheart in it. So it all depends on whether or not you give uh, credibility to Ironheart. Which pretty much feels like one, a self-insert character, and two, a character meant to check off marks and to kill off legacy characters, and which has been an ongoing trend with people getting IPs that are popular. Next up is the Spider-Man: The Lost Hunt, issue number three. I didn't have a problem with the initial description of this, so I am going to recommend it um, to Spider-Man fans. Like me, it's it's not the best, but it, it is really it is pretty good. It ties in both the whole dark web stuff. Um, I think it might not. Uh, let me see. Broken Gregor continues the destruction of Peter Parker. It's got Peter Parker, so we got Peter Parker in there, and it's Gregor. So I I recommend this one. Um, trade paperbacks coming out soon. I think that's the one I'm going to get. Uh, next up is Alien 5. I'm going to skip that. Same with Star Wars, Han Solo and Chewbacca. Skipping the, the, those two stories. That one really disappointed me. Um, DC Universe's Lazarus Planet. Assault on Krypton. Issue number one. I didn't see that. It was a number one there. Uh, Gone Dark. Electric Breakthrough Deus Machina. With the world in chaos and Lazarus raining from the skies, 
um, the Earth's protectors from Krypton are hit hard, and its collection of epic vignettes from around the Lazarus planet will see our heroes transform, secrets revealed, and powers unleashed. Can the Power Girl free herself from out of control? Omen will dreamers visions guide our heroes path to victory. Can Mercy's great save the transformation she's undergone? And will Jonathan Kent ever be the same again? Got uh, writer Frank J. Barbary. Uh, it's got Dreamer and John Kent Superman. I don't think I I'm gonna like this one. There are only four stories, and this is in this, and I like the only two. But still excited to see Lazarus Planet issue. Yeah, this one I'm gonna skip. This one it's. Not anything that looks good at all. Looks just uh, like they're using IP to push some something else. Uh, their own story. Next up is The Walking Dead, issue number 55. I honestly can't believe The Walking Dead is still um, printing. But I, I'll go ahead and recommend to Walking Dead fans. I just not It's not my cup of tea. Next up is Black Adam, issue number 7. Uh, I'm going to skip that one as well, not my cup of tea. Same with Shazam, issue number 4. Just basically the female uh, version of Black Adam. So that leaves us with what's the furthest place from here, issue number 10. I highly recommend this story. Uh, it's a really great story and uh, about these kids that are basically raised by themselves uh, and stores that have themes that they live in so yeah uh, definitely recommend this one you'll like it and uh, I would recommend starting from the beginning because you're gonna be totally confused but yeah uh, highly recommend it totally get it you're gonna love it especially if you're into punk rock or anything like that when you were younger um, Batman Fortress, The Shocking Conclusion. This is a, a finale of the Batman Fortress one. I'll recommend it if you've caught up that far. It's got Superman there. Uh, Stargirl, The Lost Children by DC Comics. I'm going to skip that one. I have never heard of her and she does not look interesting at all. Next up is Wasp, issue number one. Was, was the Wasp female before? I'm not sure. Fashion designer, businesswoman, founder, Avenger, Van Janet Van Dyke has worn many hats over her course of superhero career. Her superhero career, but when an old enemy threatens Janet and her fellow wasp, Nadia, seemingly against his will, favorite, uh, the Van Dynes will have to confront the ghosts and the shared history to get to the bottom of the mystery. I'm not very familiar with the character or Ant-Man in itself, so this is going to be a hard pass for me, I'm sorry to say. Uh, Monkey Prince, issue number 10, I'm going to skip as well. Titans Blood United uh, Blood Pack, um, Titans United Blood Pack, I'm going to skip, um, same with Namor. The Submariners, Conquered Shores, none of these interest me, these legacy characters, uh, they've, they've made me not like legacy characters anymore. I, I, I never really liked them, the, the greatest to begin with, but the fact that they're making them worse than what I've already envisioned them in my head is not helping. Same with Harley Quinn, I was such a Harley Quinn simp back in the days. So I'm definitely going to skip that one. Next up is I Hate Fairyland, issue number three. Now, I'm going to highly recommend it. And uh, just to let you guys know, I am actually working on the I Hate Fairyland dub. Uh, a comic dub there. So that's how much I recommend it, and I like it. It's really cute, really funny, gory, bloody. Everything you want in an Image Comics property. Next look up, uh, excuse me. Next up is Night Club by uh, Image Comics, issue number two. I'm gonna skip it. Um, I missed out on what it's about, and I'm a little uh, overwhelmed with all of the 
superhero comic books I have. Um, say, uh, I'm gonna skip Wakanda for. I'm gonna skip Fables 157, but I am going to highly recommend this issue. Um, well, this this little arc. We're in part seven of twelve, so go back six issues and get to twelve. This is a good uh, arc here at the Black Forest. Highly recommend this this arc right here. Next up is uh, Gotham City Police Department, the Blue Wall. I'm gonna do a hard pass, but I'm not really big on cops and cop comic books. Just wouldn't do it for me. Old Dog, issue number three. I really like the way this comic book is going. Uh, it's a little russophobic in some places, but I don't know. It just hasn't been like straight up like Ukraine, Slava Ukraini stuff. Uh, it's it's actually all right. So hopefully this is uh, this is um, this continues to be good. Uh, TMNT, the Armageddon game, issue number four. I'm gonna skip it. Hard pass. Uh, next up is the Morphin Power Rangers 104. I'm gonna skip. After that is Chroma issue number three. I'm gonna highly recommend it. Uh, the this is basically a, an anime done in comic book form. It's got an anime kind of type of subplot where they keep this really beautiful girl hidden, and they take away the colors of people and. Oh god, this it's such a great comic book. It's expensive, but it's worth every every penny. Highly recommend this and yes, get it, get it, get it. Next up is Double Trouble by Peter Parker's and Miles Morales, uh, by Marvel Comics, Peter Par Peter Parker and Miles Morales Spider-Man, Double Trouble issue number three. I'm gonna do a hard pass. It is made for children, but it it it's not it's not it. Next up is Art Brute, issue number two. I am going to recommend this one. There was an actual pretty good uh, issue number one, but I'm going to skip this one because um, I, I I wasn't able to actually buy it. Uh, I only read it online, so yeah, uh, definitely recommend this one. Let's see. It is a, a little bit uh, then different from what I'm used to, but I, I'm just afraid that I'm not going to like it for some reason. It's, but I do recommend it, and just don't listen to me on this one comic book. Next up is The Vampire Slayer, issue number 10. I'm going to recommend it. It's been a one that I've regretted uh, missing out on the first part of. Um, so definitely highly recommend this one and you should get this one. Next one is Image Comics Hexware issue number two. Another one I highly recommend. I read the issue number one and it is super fantastic. It's cyberpunk meets Dark Souls meets Skyrim. It's really cool. Um, yeah, it's really cool. If you like witches, if you like werewolves, and if you like cyberpunk new technology, this comic book is going to be right up your alley. Next up is Barbaric Hell to Pay, issue number one. Barbaric is back and headed straight to hell in a new arc. And so is his big... Uh, and, uh, excuse me. Uh, hell in an all new arc, so big and bloody it's getting an extra issue. While uh, Owen uh, tames a dragon with an old friend, Soren, and Steel cross paths with someone else from Cursed Barbarian's past. And who isn't nearly as friendly? Hell hath no fury like a woman stabbed through the heart by an ugly orc. Oh wait, who's carrying axe? Oh wow, check it out. So yeah, this is definitely going to be good and this is how you do a gender swap. This is how you do a gender swap guys. <laughs> and get people to like it and want it. Next up is Eve, Children of the Moon. If I haven't told you about this comic book enough, I'm going to tell you again. I highly recommend it. There's a, a prequel to this one. Well, it's actually the part one. 
so this is part two this is the second arc and i highly recommend children of the moon too it's 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 capturing that magic again next up is chicken devils issue number two um it looks like he's got the family in on it now so i highly recommend this great aftershock uh, comics uh, property and it's a lot better than anything marvel's pumping out this week uh, next up is Giga by Vault Comics. I don't know anything about this, uh, but Vault Comics usually uh, is usually 70 to 60 percent good. So um, I will recommend this one with caution. If you, you know, let me know if you think this is a good one. I haven't even seen the issue number one, so let me know. Next up is Dune House of Harkonnen issue number one. The second official New York Times best-selling prequel of Dune is adapted for the first time by award-winning novelist Brian blah 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 blah. Fans will gain sight on how early years, how the early years of the iconic figures Gurnley Halleck, Lady Jessica, uh, Liette Kynes, and their future shaped through complex and brutal uh, machinations of the House of Caracone. And, you know, I watched this really old movie about it, and the Harkonnen was one of the most gruesome, I think this, they were the gruesome ones, the one with all the pus filled guys. Yeah, this one, I highly recommend it. This is a great story, should be shared. I don't know how well it's adapted, but I, I hope they, they do it a, a good solid. And I haven't heard any, like, people talk crap about it, so... That's how I know the comic book is doing good is when the, the fans on YouTube aren't totally shitting on it. So yeah, I'll recommend this one and I'm gonna get it myself. Next up is White Savior uh, by Di Dark Horse Comics. Uh, this is a four part miniseries, a samurai satire. Um, but before that, We're gonna do. There's something. We're gonna skip. There's something uh, wrong with Patrick Todd, and we're gonna check this one out here. Maniac of New York. Don't call to call it a comeback. Maniac Harry, the un seemingly unstoppable character, Carol killer, has finally been stopped. The city celebrates. The mayor takes credit. But there's a new maniac, and it's not one you're expen expecting. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Highly recommend this one. It it is a female. Yeah, I bet you it's one of the cops. Or or it's that little girl that uh, that her mom was saved um, in the tunnels. I think the those two might be the candidates. That's what I'm guessing. So yeah, highly recommend this one. Get it, get it, get it, get it. I am getting this one tomorrow for sure. Um, Sonic the Hedgehog, Scrapnik Island, a great comic to get kids into, Certain Spare Fighter, issue number six. Highly recommend this, this comic book. It is absolutely insane, intense, and crazy. Uh, next up is Immortal Sergeant, the miniseries uh, made by the same people with I Kill Giants and Joe Kelly, uh, or Deadpool, and. Um, and Namira. Never heard of him. On the eve of an unwelcome retirement, Jim Sargent, aka Sarge, a grizzled old de uh, school detective, catches a break on a murder case that haunted him for decades. Unfortunately, Sarge must drag this anxiety riddled son along for the ride and risk losing the lead forever. Can this dysfunctional duo overcome their own hangups, blind spots, to catch a serial killer? I guess it's worth it to give one shot. It's an Image Comics property, so they they hardly ever let me down. Um, Miss Meow. I I I really like the art, but the the storyline and the plot it was just so cheesy and generic. I, I didn't really sit well with me. Three Keys, issue number four, I do regret not reading issue number one. Uh, this one I do recommend, and I will actually put it on my pool. 
uh, Gru, Gods Against Gru. I highly recommend this one for old school comic book fans. I'm going to skip it personally because uh, I have quite a few things I need to get through. But um, I'm definitely put this on a want list. Uh, Nightfall Double Feature. Uh, I'll put this on the want list. But uh, this is not something I'm necessarily going to get if I don't have the money for it. Uh, but I do recommend it. These, this, uh, if, especially if you like horror comics. Avengers 2. Uh, Wonderful Man and the Beast. Uh, I'm going to do a hard pass. I'll let you guys know what it is though. Collect for the first time. One of the best. Uh, okay. Wonder Man and the Bouncing Beast. You may know as Hank McCoy, more as an X Man, but during his time as an Avenger, he developed a fine bromance. Yeah, see a hard pass with the actress uh, Simon Williams. When a newly back from the dead Wonder Wonder Man heads back to California, Wonder Man. See, it's just and it's making Beast turn into something he's not. Yeah, it's gonna be a hard pass on this one. Sorry, I wasted the time on that description. Uh, Jimmy's Little Bastards, I heard was alright, um, not really something I'm interested to. Like I said, with Aftershock Comics, there's there's hit or miss, there's really good ones, really bad ones. Um, Dark Horse Comics, Alien Resi Resident Alien, I am going to skip, but I recommend it, it's funny. It's funny. Uh, Aftershock's Comics, Fear of the Red Planet, I am going to skip it, but I highly recommend it, it's really interesting. And, um... I think it'll keep people's uh, attention. Next up is Scout, Cos uh, Scout Comics Phantasmagoria. It's a great uh, horror comic uh, made by Black Caravan and Scout Comics. Uh, one of the few ones that I'm trying to, to go through because there's so much horror comics out that I had to kind of limit on which ones I need want to read. Uh, Matt Cave Studios Nature's Labyrinth. Uh, I did a hard pass on and the Barnstormers. Bad idea stopped coming into my comic book shop. Eternal Descent looks really cool, but uh, I'm gonna do a hard pass on. Uh, White Savior, issue number one. An ancient prophecy foretold by an outsider that would save the peaceful village of Inaki from an unstoppable army. A man who would confuse the people at first with his unconventional ways, but lead them to the light. Nathan Guerin, captain in the United States Army, known for his viciousness, viciousness in the battle on the American frontier, could be that man, if he weren't such an awful drunken idiot. Now it's up to the Japanese-American teacher, Todd Parker, to warn the good people of Inaki and Guerin's true nature, of, true, of Guerin's true nature, before he causes the very death and destruction they are counting on him to avert. It just, it sounds really cool, it, is, it does sound familiar, it does sound like a little played out, but I think I can trust Dark Horse Comics, plus it's only a four part miniseries at four dollars a pop, I think we're safe, I think we're safe, I think I'll pull this guy. I know, I know, I'm a crazy guy, I'm a crazy guy. Uh, Night of, Knights of the Dinner Table, uh, issue number 300 by Kenzer and Company. I'd recommend it to old school comic book fans, the same people that read Brew. Um, you'll like it. And the same people that read Archie and Jughead. <laughs> it's, it's not bad, it's just... It's like Dungeons and Dragons for Sunday Sunday morning car, uh, comics. Uh, next up is Tim Seeley's Lucky by Keen Spot um, Publishing. Now I love Tim Tim Seeley because he's uh, the creator of, of Hack Slash. I, I don't know if he's a creator or if he's just a, a writer from them. 
but let's see. He puts a new spotlight on his new, on his quirky superheroine Lucky in this fortuitous all new series. Uh, for, fortuitous all new series. It's been a few years since the Super Beasts were a team, and their youngest member, Lucky, feels responsible for their demise. After all, the power to steal luck from everybody nearby is not ideally suited for to a team. Down on her luck, besides, because she's stubbornly refusing to use her gift, Lucky inadvertently discovers a plot to an old nemesis to discovers a plot by an old nemesis to assassinate a former teammate. Now she must come to terms with her new powers and learn to go solo. It's time to get luck. Oh damn, that sounds dope. That actually sounds really dope. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm definitely gonna get this one. Got a waifu protagonist. Uh, that's kind of a bad drawing of her, but this one's a good drawing. I like it. I really like this. I hope this is, I hope, I hope, I, I can only hope this is. This is t uh, bought in by my local comic book shop. Uh, next up is Highball issue number five. I recommend it. It's really funny, crazy uh, take on modern uh, superhero comic books, and it looks really cool. Um, Santos Sisters, like I said, it's an Archie comic probably type thing. Oh, no, it's not, but I'm gonna skip it. Not something that interests me very much. Oops, made it small. Let's see. What is this even about? Never even heard of this. Why is La Brisa being overrun with costume criminals? Where are they coming from? Santos Sisters, blah 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 blah. one of those weird giant size things. Yeah. Not something that interests me one bit. Census looks interesting. Um, it's issue number five. Uh, Hell's Kitchen to Hell. Uh, it's not that interesting, I guess. Let me know if I'm getting it wrong. Retro verse issue number two. Casey has arrived in a world unlike her own, and she has arrived with otherworldly powers as she copes with this alternate version of Earth. She finds herself best ghastly mutant marauders intent on murdering her. She finds herself beset by ghastly mutant marauders intent on murdering her. Man, that sounds kind of cool enough. Hopefully they can get the idea of getting that one. Edge World issue number six, too far gone for that one. And so that's gonna do it for this uh, this week's comic book haul or comic book new comic book day recommendations and skips. I hope I helped you uh, figure out what you guys want and what you guys uh, uh, don't want and uh, what's out there for tomorrow. And uh, if you think I skipped uh, some ones that, that look cool, let me know in the comments below. Uh, if you think I'm wrong, if you think I made the right choice on some of them, let me know. I would love to hear from you. And please subscribe, like, share, all that stuff. Thank you so much for watching. Assalamu alaikum and have yourself a great day.